is the Verpal Controls Mongoose T50 CM3 throttle with aircraft grade Duralumin mechanics. It's a throttle for your favourite flight or space sim, featuring an all metal housing and brushless sensors. It's a very high grade plastic for the throttle and the device overall is very sturdy with no give or flex anywhere at all. It has the smoothest action I've felt frankly on a PC throttle and you get a real sense that you're handling a very expensive and very responsive piece of equipment. I've criticised other throttles for lifting up but the weight and heft of this device coupled with its rubberized feet keeps it firmly on the desk. Verpal have introduced a finger lift detent system on the CM3, which is adjustable and either can provide you with a tactile feedback or can actually prevent you from pushing the throttle backwards and forwards, requiring you to pull back on some metal finger lift levers. And that can stop you accidentally idling the engine as well as preventing you from engaging the afterburner of the aircraft by pushing the throttle all the way forwards. Alternatively, you can use it to mark the throttle range where your aircraft or spacecraft is most maneuverable. And it has a split throttle design with an extraordinarily satisfying spring-loaded catch that joins the two halves of the throttle together. It has a very satisfying clunk as you move it backwards and forwards. The throttle features one eight-way hat with a push, three four-way hats with a push, one two-way hat with a push, one encoder dial and one encoder dial that also includes a push, four momentary push buttons, a slider and an analog stick. You've got it with a push. The base features four RGB backlit momentary buttons, three momentary toggle switches, four latched switches, that's posh for switches that go one way and stay there and the other way and then stay there, a mode selector switch, two rotary pots, both of which include a push, plus an auxiliary axis that also has a contactless sensor on it. The build quality of this device is frankly sensational. It's the best quality PC-based throttle I have ever used. And the software is also very intuitive, very comprehensive with lots of features and very easy to use as well. There's mounting holes on the bottom which are compatible with Verpal's desk mounting solutions or you can opt to go for one of the third party solutions such as the extraordinarily popular Monster Tech mounting solutions. They do solutions for both mounting it to your chair as well as your desk. I think you can mount it to the wall. They do sort of entire rig setup, sim pits, uh, that kind of thing as well. This is without a doubt an expensive device at 270 euros plus taxes, but it is the absolute best throttle that you can buy for a PC. It was an absolute pleasure to use in Elite Dangerous. It has an extraordinarily satisfying clunk as you move the device uh, backwards and forwards, the throttle backwards and forwards. All of the switches are clearly of much higher quality than you would find in something like the Logitech X56. And if you coupled this with a decent VR headset, um, it would be very easy to believe that you're actually genuinely flying a real aircraft. This is the absolute best PC throttle money can buy. If you're serious about your flight simming, you absolutely should pick one of these up. It's a four out of five for this device. It would be a five out of five, but 370 euros is a very, very steep price for a PC peripheral, so it loses a point for that. In reality, it's very difficult to find anything to criticize this device uh, about. Its build quality is sensational. The motion, the action is extraordinarily smooth. Um, all of the buttons are satisfying to push. It really is very high quality indeed. So there we go, guys. The Mongoose uh, CM3 throttle from Verpal Controls. Uh, as always, I hope you're very well wherever in the world you are. Please like, share and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one.